How does an internal combustion engine work? Combustion, also known as burning, is the basic chemical process of releasing energy from a fuel and air mixture. In an internal combustion engine, the ignition and combustion of the fuel occurs within the engine itself. The engine then partially converts the energy from the combustion to work. The engine consists of a fixed cylinder and a moving piston. The expanding combustion gases push the piston, which in turn rotates the crankshaft. Ultimately, through a system of gears and the powertrain, this motion drives the vehicle's wheels. There are two kinds of internal combustion engines, the spark ignition gasoline engine and the compression ignition diesel engine. Most of these are four-stroke cycle engines, meaning four piston strokes are needed to complete a cycle. The cycle includes four distinct processes, intake, compression, combustion and power stroke, and exhaust. Spark ignition gasoline and compression ignition diesel engines differ in how they supply and ignite the fuel. In a spark ignition engine, the fuel is mixed with air and then inducted into the cylinder during the intake process. After the piston compresses the fuel-air mixture, the spark ignites it, causing combustion. The expansion of the combustion gases pushes the piston during the power stroke. In a diesel engine, only air is inducted into the engine and then compressed. Diesel engines then spray the fuel into the hot compressed air at a suitable, measured rate, causing it to ignite. Let us go through the main parts of a gasoline engine. Oil Pan The oil pan is attached to the bottom of the engine with bolts and is the reservoir for oil that gets pumped throughout the engine to lubricate, clean and cool moving parts. Oil Pump The pump forces the oil from the pan through a filter to remove dirt and other debris before it circulates through the engine. Pistons Pistons are devices that slide up and down inside the cylinders. Their job is to slide in and out, connected to the crankshaft, in order to turn the combusting gasoline into work. Cylinders The cylinders of an engine are where the work is done. Fuel is injected into the cylinders, where it is ignited by the spark plugs, which moves the pistons, doing work. Crankshaft The crankshaft is the glue that connects the parts of the engine. Its purpose is to turn the linear up and down motion of the pistons into rotational motion. One end of the crankshaft is attached to the camshaft, via a timing belt. The other end is connected to the flywheel, which regulates the power coming out of the engine, sort of like a surge protector for your computer. Spark Plugs The job of a spark plug is to ignite the fuel inside the cylinder. The rapid expansion of the fuel, due to the heat created, does work on the piston, moving it away from the spark plug. Engine Valves The engine valve's primary function is to allow air into and out of the cylinder. Air is used to assist in the ignition of the fuel, which pushes the pistons up and down. The more air you take in and out of the engine, the more efficient it will be thus generating more power. Block the block is the backbone of the engine. It is a large block of metal, usually aluminum or steel, with holes cut into it for the cylinders. Cylinder Head Gasket The head gasket plays a crucial role in sealing the engine's combustion chamber so that your car can build the appropriate compression that is needed to maintain your engine power. It also keeps coolant or oil from leaking anywhere else, preventing your engine from overheating and catching fire. A valve head, or cylinder head as it is more commonly called, is a piece of an internal combustion engine that contains and houses the intake and exhaust valves. The head sits on top of an engine directly over the pistons and encloses the combustion chamber. Camshaft A camshaft is a device that manages the timing of the engine. A camshaft's job is to regulate when fuel is let into the engine and when exhaust is let out. Alternator An alternator, as an integral part of every combustion engine vehicle. Its main responsibility is to convert mechanical energy to electrical energy so that you can charge and replenish the battery in your engine and other electrical components in a car. Flywheel The flywheel is a power management device for the engine. It is connected to the clutch, which is connected to the transmission.